Okay, hi semua. Selamat pagi. Hai, selamat pagi. Hai. Selamat pagi. Yes. Okay, so I hope everyone already enter uh, in my class right now. So let me check your attendance. So when I call your name, please say uh, saya, okay? All right. Uh, so Nali, are you there? So Nali? Saya. Tarnana? Tak, are you there Tak? Parnana Tak Do, are you there? So, Amina? Saya. Fauzi Chur? Saya. Zuji? Saya. Yukun? Uh, saya. Saya. And Yukun? Ya, saya. Ya. Wang Shodan. Saya. Tay Lei. Saya. Wang Fei. Ya. Yang Boya. Saya. Miao. Saya. Wang. Wang. Not yet in it. Eh? Yang Hua. Saya. Chu Chi Yuan. Saya. Wang Kai Yuan. Saya. Uh, Mustafa. Ayub. Mustafa. Ayub, are you there? Ayub. No answer. Bai Zichuan. Saya. Sun Hao. Uh, saya. Okay. Lee Chiu Yu. Saya. Zhang Chen Chen. Saya. Wang Chiu Yi. Saya. Zhang Jing Fei. Saya. Taha Abdul Salam. Taha Abdul Salam. No answer. Han Ming Jun. Han Ming Jun. No answer. How Li Chun? No answer. Deep? Saya. Deep. saya. Okay. Zhang Zhou? Saya. And San Lau Saidu Yaru? Saya. Very good. All right. So thank you. Uh, so I hope I call already yeah, everybody. So for those, if I didn't call your name, please let me know. Maybe you join a little. No, teacher, you didn't call your name. Ishiro. Okay, actually yeah. I call already. Maybe uh, you will not notice that. Okay, don't worry. I recorded your attendance. Okay, complete, yeah? All right, so settle about the attendance. So guys, uh, I would like to tell you about your uh, neck test. Okay, this is maybe a uh, first uh, information about your neck test. All right. Uh, this is just general. I'm not detailed yet because of uh, I'm not looking yet about the question for your next test. I just want to inter uh, I just get the I just got the information about the date and time only and a little bit about the procedure. Okay, so guys, the date uh, it will be on the confirmation date. It will be on 11 June 2022. Okay, so can you check on your calendar what the day on 11 June 2022? What day for 11 June? 11 June. Yeah? 11 June. What is it? Saturday. Yes, Saturday. they are Saturday. Okay, they are Saturday. And the time it will be on 8.30 p.m. P.m. Yeah? 8.30 p.m. Not morning, but day and night. Okay? So, listen carefully, guys. Your test... They just on the system only 45 minutes. So at 11 June 2022, I will share it to all of you in the WhatsApp group, the link. So you just click the link. Okay, so the link, it will bring you to answer the questions. They have part, if I'm not mistaken, uh, part section in the question. They are writing test, yeah? 
no need to enter the Zoom meeting, no need to on the a camera or whatever. So you have to do with your own. So my advice, please use computer. Do not uh, answer by handphone. Even you have a iPhone 14, 15 or what. Do not use the handphone, but you have to use the uh, laptop or PC, okay? Because sometimes, uh, some of the picture is not appear in your screen if you use the handphone, yeah? Okay? So, 8.30 p.m., I will share with you the link. So, the link, it will bring you to answer the questions. So, you just have 45 minutes to complete your the question. Okay? Just 45 minutes. After then, that, the system will be closed, so you cannot submit your uh, kata, you cannot submit your answer lah. Alright? They just open 45 minutes only. So you have to hurry up, be focused, answer the all of question in 45 minutes. So what the topic concludes in the next in the next test, I mean your second test, they just have a three topic only. Okay? Topic number four, five and six. Okay? Uh, but because of I'm not looking yet about the question so i don't know how how i mean uh, how subtopic you need to focus so i will share with you about the topic you need to focus in the topic number four five six maybe uh, later on okay and don't worry okay so today what we are going to do i try to finish the lesson six by today because in the lesson six we have uh, so many slides if i'm not mistaken 30 slides okay but no, don't worry because uh, this just last is so many, but sometimes they just just uh, information only, not more to exercise. Okay, so guys, I try to complete the all of the all of the lesson by today, and next week we try to do some of revision. Okay, maybe I try to get the question from the previous semester, so you can look at the other format. You can manage your time to answer the all of question in forty five minutes. Okay, all right. So next week we we not continue in the topic number six, in the, in the topic number seven, but we have to do some of revision. So next week the class are very important. Please do not miss. Yeah. Okay. So class, I hope you're ready. So far, any question about the next test? Your answer already. I <laughs> yes, you could. What is I it? I have I have class uh, Saturday from six to nine. You have what? I have class on Saturday oh. from 6 to 9. Oh, okay. All right. 6 morning? 6 p.m.? No, no, no. 6 to 9 in the p.m. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, for those, if you have a something, I mean, appointment, class, lab, or whatever, okay, try to discuss with your teachers first. Try to get the appropriate permissions, okay? Just 45 minutes to answer the test. If not, okay? If not, please come in with the document. I mean, the for, uh, the formal letter. Okay, I try to discuss with the coordinator. Maybe you can text your exam for the next day. Okay? You can, is it clear? Okay, thank you. Uh, try to discuss with your lecturer first. Okay, if they are possible, uh, come with me. You have to write down the letter lah. I mean, official letter. I try to discuss to make sure you have to attend. Uh, you have to sit down for your next test. For the other's day. For the other's day, right? Okay, so okay. just PM me after finish the class. Eh? Okay, settle. So far, uh, anybody, do you have any question about the next test? No, yeah? Okay, let's. I want to share with you the answer for your the previous exercise. I mean, this is your exercise last week. Okay, I give it to you. Alright, so guys, today, I try to make it fast, yeah? Because we have to cover... 13 slides for today. 30 slides for today. Okay, so I just give the answer. If you have any question, just interrupt me. Okay, um, because I have to make it fast by today. All right, so please check your answer with your own. All right. Wait here. Alamak, apa pula ni? Here, 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 here. This okay. Apa dia kena? Ni. Sekejap ya. Wait a minute. Okay. So, guys. 
Frank Shay. Kenapa tak keluar apa ni? Okay, beli. What does it mean beli? Beli. What mean beli? Buy. Buy. Okay, so how Bye. about bayar? Pay. Bayar is pay. Bank. Bank is pay. Wait. Tunggakan. Outstanding. 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 Then how about baki? Balance. Balance. Sure, balance. That's the answer balance. because the balance. only one, only. Okay. So you have to check the answer with your own, right? Okay. Number two, I just give you the answer. So if you have any question, you can tell me. All right. So number one. It's one, yeah? Puan Maria Suarang Suri Rumah. Because I told you last week, number one, for sure they want to try to introduce about the character. So Puan Maria as a housewife. Suri Rumah. Puan Maria, she is a housewife. And number two, about the Puan Maria's routines. What she is doing? She go to market for early morning. 8 a.m. She go to market. So what uh, she's doing at the market? She buy the wet item like a vegetable, like a fish, like a fish. chicken and the fruits. Yeah. So which one number four? That's one of this one. Uh, selepas pulang. Selepas pulang tadi. Yes. Okay. Selepas pulang. That's mean when she arrive from the market. That's mean uh have a link yeah, with the center number three. She's arrived at the market, so she tried to make it clean their house, gardening, and everything. So, and yes, number five, all right, she tried to take their clothes, okay, at the uh, evening. So, settle, yeah? All right, so if the question in the test two, the format come out, the question like this one, so you should be no. First of those, you have to look at about the character, and then you have to look at about the time. Try to understand about the meaning uh, from the sentence. If you if you think it, they are very possible to know the meaning, the whole of the sentence, just try to find a few of the, the words and try to understand. Okay, not to all. Okay, for number three, I don't know how to uh, give the answer because I believe everybody the sentence are different. So I just call for the lucky people for today. Try to read your sentence for us. Okay, Lee Shirong, can you share with us about your sentence for A? Just uh, read. <coughs> the sentence is Ali Boy Fire uh, Fuel Electric E Control. Again, can you repeat again? Ali? Ali Boy uh, Ali Boy uh, Fire Fire Fuel Electric E Control. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. the counter. Ali, what bayaran bed electric the counter? Yes, perfect. I mean, Ali, uh, make a bill electricity bill. Okay, try to pay bill electricity at the counter. Very good. So, B, Yang Hua, can you read for your answer, Yang Hua? A, uh, perfect. Berapa hari? So you call it can hari ini. Berapa hari atau berapa harga? Berapa harga? Harga sekitar sekitar it can sebilan ribu hari ini. Can you read again, Yang Hua? Read again, read again. Yes. Okay. Uh. Harga seiko ikan sebilai ringgit hari ini. Okay, harga seekor ikan sembilan ringgit hari ini. That's mean the price for a pieces a fish nine ringgit for today. Yes. Is it? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Chu Chi Yuan, can you read for C? Yes. Um, berapa kah harga sekilo terong hari ini? 
Yes. Berapakah harga sekilo teru hari ini? Okay, how much? Uh, apa orang kata? Eggplant? Yes, how much? Uh, one kilo eggplant for today. Oh, one. Okay. one kilo, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. And then, uh, Sonali, can you read your answer for D? Sonali? No, ma'am. I didn't complete this section. Okay, so I pass for Amina. Amina? Yes, yes, teacher. Read your answer for D. Buku dijual di kedai buku. Yes, buku dijual di kedai buku. I mean, uh, the books. Apa? What the meaning in English? What is it, Amina? Books are sold in um, bookstore. bookstore. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So I'm not uh, check to all of you, but if you want to let me check your answer, just write down in the WhatsApp group. Okay. I try to read after finish the session. Okay. Uh, it's possible lah to call one by one to read your answer. All right. So settle about the exercise number five. So let's we begin our lesson for today. Uh, we have to start with the chapter six, with the first line. Okay. Okay. All right. Topic six. We are talking about the activity harian. Okay. What doesn't mean activity harian? They are daily activities. So now, when we are talking about the daily activity, for sure they have a lot of uh, activity we need to do, right? So now I just to make it small, I just to make it focus about the daily activity as the student in the campus. What the student always do in the campus. Even you, uh, re uh, you, you stay out from the campus, you just imagine what we can do if we are in the campus right now. Okay, so first slide, I just want to uh, let to all of you know about how to address the people when you want to call them. If you are in Malaysia, I'm not sure that your, your culture in Malaysia, they are same or uh, different. So because uh, one of the country, not one, uh, a few of the country in the world, actually, the culture, there are two different. When they want to call the somebody, okay, the somebody, I mean, their, their family member, their friend, uh, or someone, lah, okay, they just call them with a name only. For example, they want to call their fathers. Okay, and then the father's name is David, and they just call, hi David, David, come here, David. Okay, so this is about the culture from the other uh, country. But the culture in the Malaysia, if you want to call the somebody, but then who's speaking? Okay, so continue. Eh? If you want to call the somebody, you have to address them with the title, not just only use the name, use the name only. Even they are your friends, even they are younger than you, you have to put the title, right? What happens if you just call them with the names only? Okay, it's looking like uh, you, apa? it's looking like, uh, we are considered it's like a root on Italy, okay? So this is a culture in Malaysia, please do not be rude. So you have to call them with the title, even they are younger than you. That's uh, they have to look at about the situation. Okay, for example, the situation, we are in the class. I'm your teacher and you are my student. Okay, so because you are a student, I can call you just use, using name only. Okay, All right. but if you want to call me, you know who am I? And then you said, oh, the teacher is younger than me, so I, I should call them, hi, Hidaya. Okay, no, they are too rude. So you have to call me with the title, Cikgu, or Professor actually. But in the class, please do not call me with the professor because I'm not your lecturer. I'm just your instructor. That's why you need to call me by teachers only. Okay, for example, if you go to the restaurant, you want to order some of food or the drink, and then you should call the person, right? Uh, in some, in upper, in the other country, they call waitress, for example. But in Malaysia, even we know she is a waitress, so you should call them with the title, uh, Kaka, I mean the sister, our sister, our brothers, like this one, even she is not your sister, but you should call them with a sister, 
if you know their name, if, uh, for example, their name is Lina. So you could call me Kakak Lina, Kakak Lina, like this one. Okay, you have to put the title. This is a culture uh, in Malaysia. Okay, so they are different if you uh, know each other. For example, Yang Hua friend with Chu Chi Yuan, best friend forever, for example. So you can call them with the name only because you know this is just your friend. Okay, uh, but for the others, I mean in the outside, if you want to communicate with the other people, you should address them with the title. Okay, so here, if you want to call them with the, uh, if they are uh, men, or I mean uh, somebody, yeah. so you call them with Mr. or Sir. For example, Intake Abu, Mr. Uh, Zhao Zichua, uh, what is it, uh, Sir. Uh, Sir what? Sir Farnana, okay, Sir Ayub, for example, Sir Salau Yaru Saidu, for example. So you should put the title in front of their name. Okay, if they are the ladies and married already, you need to start with the Puan, like me, Puan Hidayah. Okay, if I'm not married yet, if I'm a single, you can call me Che. Okay, all right. So for your teachers, maybe you can start with them with the professor or doctor. Okay, so unless me, because I'm not your your uh your lecturer. Okay, all right. So settle, but the Malay pronouns. So now, I want to bring you. We go to around the whole of UPM, not whole. I just put a few of places only because in UPM we have a lot of places. Uh, very apurukata amazing to visit it. But uh, in this class, we just have uh, one hour, two hours only. So I just show you, I just presenting to you a few places only. Most popular among of the students are in university. Okay, all right. So first picture, this is a symbol of University Putra Malaysia. I mean, the logo, okay, the symbol of the university. So we are students at University Putra Malaysia. So I want to say, Welcome to University Putra Malaysia. I mean, selamat datang ke University Putra Malaysia. If you are still in your country, I'm so excited to waiting to invite you to come here. All right. So for the second picture, uh, this is the most popular places. Almost a student visited. Even you healthy, you are unhealthy, you have to come here. If you healthy, I'm not sick teacher, but I have to visit there to complete my body checkup because I want to renew my visa, everything, all right? So this is we call as Pusat Kesihatan University. So in English, they are health center, okay? Because we are student in university, we are a family members in university, so everything no need to pay, okay? Uh, we can get the medicine with a free of charge, right? No need to go to a clinic at the outside from the university. If you go to the, the other's clinic, you, you need to pay with a so expensive fees. All right. So the next part, uh, we have to go to administration building. Or we call as Bagunan Chancellery Putra. So any ideas what the function of the building? What the function of this building? What is it? Who have been already visited? Who have already visited? Here. No? Okay. I just okay. want and inshallah one day you will come in here. Okay. So here, this is our main office. I mean main building in University Putra Mesa. It's look like a too small, but you have to look at in the website. You can website, you can look at here. They have a six level or not. I'm not sure. Okay. This is our Vinci's office. Okay, if you want to pay your fees, you want to settle about your subject, your drop subject, get the subject or whatever, you have to come here. But you have to remember, if you want to come here, you have to put a formal attire. I mean, no jeans, no slipper or what. You have to look at, you have to look in goods, right? So this is administration building and our business office part. Okay, and the last part, the last places we have to go to library. Okay, this is a very famous because we are student for master and PhD. For, for sure, we need to looking for the references so you can get everything are in there. Okay, so references by books, by article, by video, by uh, picture and everything you can get, you can access from the library. Okay, so Wi-Fi, everything, they are uh, free. Okay, you can get that. But 
uh, not, not but I mean they have a five levels, all right, if I'm not mistaken. So three levels at the upper and two levels at the ground floor, okay? If you want to access the video, you have to go to ground floor, all right? So if you have been there and you want to make, uh, you want to round up the library, you want to visit there, just let me know. I will, I will be your tourist guest if you want to round up the library, okay? Because some of the parts, uh, student uh, cannot allow. It, okay, uh, so if you come with me, I can bring you to around of the library. Okay, settle about the uh, places. Okay, just a few only, not all. Okay, so now. I want to uh, share with you about the students' activity. So, because they have a lot of activity, I just put a few only, okay? The several activity only, not all, okay? This is because uh, it's possible lah to put everything in my slide right now. So, first of those, the most of popular activity among of the students, the student always jogging, okay? So, next semester, I just get the information, everything will be back to normal i mean no more online class no more mm -hmm. everything is no more online lah. everything must be physical so i was thinking everything will come back normal so you can look at uh upper uh, student at the early morning the jogging around of the university because university have a gardens right the very beautiful gardens right now so you can see they're jogging here here because of malaysia we are rich with the foods okay the foods are very delicious when you come here you eat too much and sometimes your kilogram try to hide so you are making obesity so you have to jogging okay yeah you have to make it jogging for every day yeah? all right so jogging in english jogging in malay we call it as bird jogging Okay, the different yeah. bird jogging, all right? Okay, so the next activity, cycling, okay? In university, you do not bring your bicycle, your, your own bicycle, no need, yeah? No need to bring your own bicycle. But if you have, uh, it doesn't okay lah. Uh, because university already spent to you the bicycle, you just paying for rent. If I'm not mistaken, five ringgit for one day. If I'm not mistaken, you have to check back lah about the price. Uh, so after you paying about the rental and then you can run the whole of the university with the cycle all right this is a very good activity we can do it together at uh, evenings on time after five like this one lah. okay so the next activity for those who love to playing sport you can say bermain bola sepak if you love to play football but if you if you love to play tennis, you love to play badminton, you should say bermain badminton. Bermain, this is a mandatory word, followed by the name of the sport here. For example, badminton. So bermain badminton. If you just say badminton only, they are nouns. If you say bermain badminton, they are verbs. Okay, difference. All right. So the first future, the number four, the future. Uh, at a library. So what we are going to do if we are in library, sometimes you can readings, you can borrowings, you can uh, looking for uh, research, you can read the articles, you can watching the video, all right? So we can do a lot of uh, activity lah at the library. Okay, so the next feature, if we are in physical class, I want to, to present to you, this is our hall, actually. Try to make it biggest one, okay? This is our hall, actually, if we are in physical class. Okay, they have a two big hall, 150 to 200 students can join in one time, all right? So this is our hall, actually. But because of COVID-19, everything are in online. That's why we have to attend in our home <laughs> for your own room only. Okay, so here the last picture, Magmal, we call it as laboratory. Okay? Laboratory in Belay, we call it as Magmal to find the answer, to find the inference for about the research. All right, so settle about the activity. Now, I'm presenting to you about the vocabularies in this work. Okay, so this vocabularies will be help you to understand 
about the meanings okay in this situation okay i told you no need to understand the whole of the uh, words in the sentence just try to catch up the keyword try to relate about the situation and then you can know what they are trying to explain based on the sentence okay so here number seven look at reference books in malay language we call as buku rujukan if you just say buku only okay if you just say buku only i will asking you what type of book story books a reference book or what so you have to mention yeah reference book okay borrowing i mean meminjam you want to borrowing books after you borrowing you need to returning so what returning in malay we call as memulangkan memulangkan okay all right see so discussion what is it discussion in Malay, we call as perbincangan. Perbincangan. Not perbincangan. Yeah? Because sound of C is ch. Changan. Alright? So group, I mean kumpulan. Sometimes you have a small group. Sometimes you have a big group. So if you have a small group, you need to say kumpulan kecil. Okay? If you have a big group, just mention kumpulan is enough. Okay, just mention kumpulan only. Alright, so revision, ulang kaji. This is what we are trying to do for the next week. Okay, for the next week, we have to do some of revision. I just want to help you uh, be focused about the sum of topic because you have to get highest mark to pass in this course. Right? Because of what? We have to do some of revision because the examination getting closer. Examination, what is it in Malay? Peperiksaan. Okay, so now you got the meanings. So I give you the time. Try to understand what does it mean for each sentence. Alright, so before that, okay, before that, I would like to call a few of the students who are the lucky one for today to read the situation. Can I have by each one? By each one, are you there? Why is each one? Are you there? Why is each one? No answer. Okay, Lee tell you. Are you there? Lee tell you. Lee tell you. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Can you be CP? Uh, CT. Yeah, just read the conversation after this. Eh? Okay, okay, wait. I try to find your partner. Uh, Zhang Jingfei. Jingfei, are you there? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, try to be Ali. Right. So, uh, Li Tiao Yu and Zhang Jingfei, I hope both of you are ready right now. So please read uh, the situations. Yeah, just go ahead. Ding Fei start first because you are Ali. Okay. Hi Sandy. Afak Maho Pergaker Mana. Okay, all right. Uh, hi, uh, Ali. Daya Maho Pergaker. Uh, purpose ta kan daya mahu memulan um, memulakan buku rujukan uh, awak bu, uh, buat uh, apa di sini mm -hmm. daya sertan menunggu raju kami mahu berpasika selepas ini oh begitu saya mahu membuat membu uh, ulan kaji uh, kerana uh, per 
Paparik Dan Snacking Hampir Ya, berdu kami akan Marga Dangkian Perbi Syagian Kumpulan Pada Waktu Malan Nati Baiklah, saya masuk ke persusatakan dahulu ya. Jumpa lagi. Baik, jumpa lagi. Okay, many thanks both of you. Okay, I love your reading because your pronunciation very clear. Okay. One by one. Wow, okay, amazing, right? Very good. Okay, so we are not finished yet. I would like to call the other person. Try to read again the situation, but you try to explain uh, in English what happened. Okay, hi Siti, awak mahu pergi ke mana? So you should say uh, in English, what is it? Hi Siti, where do you want to go, for example? Okay, so now I want to call... Um, siapa eh? Zuji, are you there Zuji? Zuji? Uh, yes, okay. I'm here. You have to yeah. be Ali. Okay, you have to be Ali. And then Wang Chiyoden. Wang Chiyoden. Okay, you have to be Siti, right? So both yeah. of you try to read again, but in English version. Okay, so go ahead. Uh, hi, Siti. Uh, where do you want to go? Hi, Ali. I want to go to the library. I want to return the reference book. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm waiting for Raju. Mm -hmm. We want to cycle after this. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, that's right. I want to do a review um, because the exam is getting closer. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. Uh, we will have a group discussion tonight. Mm -hmm. All right. I went to the library first. See you. Hi, see you again. Okay, very good. Perfect. Okay. So you deserve it. You got the meaning. So this is a very good to you to uh, as a preparation for to answer for your next uh, test. Okay. All right, so you got the meaning. So let's move to the next slide. Let's take a look about time and dates. Okay, so this part it was a very easy. Okay, the difference is about the formats only. So you should remember about the formats, how to write down about the dates and time are in Malay format. Okay, here if you want to ask him about the time, okay. In English, you, just, you should say what time now or what time is it, right? So in Bahasa Melayu, the meaning is pukul berapa. Pukul berapa. But you have to careful, yeah? If you try to find the meaning pukul, you use try to find the meaning based on the dictionary, you try to refer in the dictionary, or you use a Google Translate to know the meaning of pukul, it will become with the meaning is you beat someone. This, 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 like that one. Okay. So actually, pukul, they have a double meaning. Okay. Three or four meanings. So based on the situation, pukul berapa, it will become with what time it is. What time is now. Okay. Not you want to beat the somebody. No. Okay. So pukul berapa. If I said berapakah harganya, what does it mean? Berapakah harganya? What is it? I try to ask you. What's the price? Yes, what about the price? Okay. 
If I just say berapa, what does it mean? If I just say berapa, what the difference of berapa harganya and berapa and pukul berapa? So there are three sentence have a different meaning. Okay, if I say berapa ke harga, the meaning is how about the price. If I just say berapa, I try to asking about the quantity. Okay, how many? If I said pukul berapa, so here I try to asking about the time. What time it is? If I said pukul, that's mean you need to beat somebody. Okay, so you have to know about the different of the meanings, about the words. Okay, so the question come with pukul berapa, the answer uh, is it is, if you to refer the picture, they are nine o'clock, right? So it is nine o'clock. So how to say it in bahasa? Pukul sembilan pagi. If they are morning time, you have to look in uh, based on the time. If they are night, so you should say pukul sembilan malam. Alright? Okay, so far I hope you understand about how to mention about the time right now. So here, alright, if I said if I said, now I give you a five second. So what I mean if, what does it mean five? What is it five in Malay? Lima. Lima. Yes, lima. So I said lima, five second, I mean it's lima saat. Okay. Uh, so you should answer me in five seconds. Uh, are you student? Yes. Okay, you answer me in one second only. Lima saat, five second. If I use the number uh, seven seconds, what I mean? Seven seconds. What is it? How, how many seconds? Tujuh saat. Okay, saat, that's meaning is second. Sorry, kau kalau bisa. Okay. If I say five minutes, I mean is lima minutes. Actually, minutes are in English and Malay is quite similar. Different spelling. Five minutes, lima minutes. Okay. If I say five hours, okay, our class it will begin on five hours start from now. Okay. So, I mean is lima jam. Okay. So, when I call, when I say pukul berapa, I try to asking you about time. What times now? Okay, what time is it? Pukul berapa? So you should answer me. Pukul. So look at the future. Can you tell me what time right now? Based on the future here. Pukul. Pukul sepuluh. Sepuluh. How many minutes? Dua sembilan dua. Dua sembilan dua. What do you mean? Dua puluh. Are you sure? Minutes. Dua puluh or dua belas? Dua belas. Dua belas yeah. minit. Can you repeat again your answer? Uh, pukul sepuluh. Sepuluh. Dua belas minit. Yes, perfect. Very good. That means you understand what I try to explain. Okay? So I hope everybody, you can catch up about the time. So far, any question? No, yeah. Uh, I hope no lah. All right. So let's we move to the next slide. Okay. If you want to mention now, there are shops on five p.m. Okay. For example, there are shops five p.m. You should say pukul lima tepat. Okay. Pukul lima tepat. But if they have a minutes, okay. You can mention about your friend. Try to answer. Pukul 10, 12 minutes. So, in Malay language, okay, same like in uh, English language too lah, right? So, they have, uh, apa orang kata, try to make it short. Okay, try to make it short. If there are 15 minutes, you can say pukul 1 suku. For example, if you look at the picture, they are 1 p.m., 15 minutes, right? So, you can say pukul 1 suku. If you try to use the number, we in the same way. Yeah. If, mm, if you try to use the number, you can say pukul satu 
15 minit. Okay, if you want to use the number. If you are, if you are confused, uh, suku, what is it? 15 minutes or half or an hour? Which one, which one? So my advice, just use the number because everybody already memorized about the numbers, right? Okay. So here, uh, we are talking about 15 minutes. So 15 minutes, you can call 15 minutes or suku. Okay. Suku. Yes. So now if you want to, uh, we are talking about the half an hour. You can say 30 minutes. This one is not 13, yeah, but 30. 30 minutes. Or to be uh, to make it short, you can say setengah jam. Setengah jam. That's meaning half an hour. Okay. For 45 minutes, for 45 minutes, we don't have a apa orang kata, uh, the short word. You have to use the totally by number. 45 minutes. Okay. 45 minutes. And if they are 30 minutes, that's mean once hour. All right? So now let's we do some of the activity. I just want to make sure you understand what you will learn about the times. Uh, I believe everybody already know how to watch the time, right? But I just want to confirm to make sure you are confirmed. You can write down the answer are in Malay format. Okay? So here I presenting to you. Oh wait, yeah, I have to delete the answer first. <laughs> okay, okay. Here, this is your activity actually. Okay. All right. So based on the future, please write down the answer. Okay, but you have to tell me uh, both of answer. One about the totally by numbers. Second, try to answer with a short based on the time. If 15 minutes, what they will call suku or setengah or what? Okay. So, guys, I give you a 10 minute. Okay. I was thinking this is a very easy. So, 10 minutes is enough. Lah. Uh, not 10 in it, many minutes. Um, 6 minutes. Ah, 8 minutes. So, I will come back at 11 uh, a.m. Okay. So, see you guys 11 a.m. Okay.
okay class i hope you are done yeah you got the answer already so right now i would like to call your name and you have to read your answer and share your answer with us okay number one uh, may i ask him for wang fei wang fei what's your answer for number one Fuku tucu terpat. Fuku tucu terpat. Yes, very good. Is that the answer? Eh? Okay, number two. Uh, can I ask him for by each one? Are you there? By each one. Yeah, I'm there. Yes. Can you answer me? What the answer for number two? Fuku sepuluh. Satanga jam. Or give me two answer. Number one, setengah jam. I mean half an hours. How to how to say thirty minutes in Bahasa Melayu? Pukul sepuluh setengah jam. Yes, pukul sepuluh setengah jam. That means it's ten and half an hours. Okay, if you want to say pukul, uh, if you want to say pens, 30 minutes, how to say are in Bahasa Melayu? 30 minutes. What is it 30? What is it What is it 30? Yeah. What is it 30? Uh, setengah jam. Setengah jam is half an hour. Yeah, actually, look at here. Yeah. Yes, here. Setengah jam is half an, uh, uh, half an hour. How to say 30 minutes in Bahasa Melayu? What is it 30 minutes? What 30 in Malay? By the one? Uh, per minute. Two minutes. Yes. What thirty? What thirty? Thirty is what? Uh, what number ten? Okay, by this one. Just relax. Okay. What number ten in Bahasa Melayu? Ten. Ten. Sepulu. Sepulu. Twenty. What number 20 in Bahasa Melayu? Uh, 20. Dua pulu. Okay, now. What number 30? Tiga pulu. Okay, so how to say 30 minutes? Tiga pulu. Tiga pulu minutes. Okay, so we have to answer. You can say Pukul sepuluh setengah jam. And the second answer is Pukul sepuluh tiga puluh minit. Okay, got it? Bazir Juan? Okay. Uh, so we have two answers. Okay, thank you. So let's move to the address. Can I call Zhang Chen Chen to answer for number three? Yes, um, it's Pukul enam suku. Okay, the second answer. Uh, the second one? Yeah. Um, it's uh, Puku Sepulu No, 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 certain. no. No, no. Okay, look at number three. Okay. Uh, the answer Pukul Enam Suku, right? What does it yeah. mean? What is it, Suku? Um, it's... Um, uh, Suku, um, 15, 15 minutes. Minute. Okay, minute. so we, we yeah. can say pukul 6, 15 minutes or pukul 6 suku. So we have to yeah. answer. Okay, All right. Thank you. Yes. So can I ask him for deep? Yes. Answer number four. Uh, pukul dua belas uh, tiga puluh jam. Itu jam? Jam is hours. Oh, uh, minute. Minute. Yes. Tiga puluh. Pukul dua belas tiga puluh minute or the second answer? Uh, 
Pukul 12.30 jam. Yes, pukul 12.30 jam. Very good. So, number five. Can I ask Zhang Zhou? Yeah. Number five. Number five. Sebelum lima belas. Okay, don't forget to say pukul ya. Pukul sembilan lima belas or the second answer? What is it lima belas? If I want to make it short. Lima belas. Lima belas is? Lima belas is fifteen minutes. Ya, lima belas is fifteen minutes. They are setengah or suku? Half an hour or quarters an hour? Hour fifteen minutes. Okay. So, we have two answers eh. The first answer you can say pukul sembilan lima belas minit and Pukul sembilan suku. Okay, so 15 minit, they are suku. Right? Okay, so the, la the last one, can I ask Salau Saidu Yaru? Salau Saidu Yaru, can you answer me for number six? Yes, uh, pukul enam, tiga puluh minit. Are you sure pukul enam? Number six, number six. Number six. Pukul enam atau pukul empat? Pukul 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 empat tiga puluh minit. Yes, pukul empat tiga puluh minit. Or we can say pukul empat tiga jam. Yes. Minit. Alright. Very good. Perfect. Okay. So this is if the question comes. Like this one, they give you the picture. So you have to write down about the times. Make sure you can uh, spell the numbers in a good spelling. Yeah? In the correct spelling. Okay, that's all. Don't forget to say puko. Because puko here mentioned about the time. Okay, now let's move. I have to make it fast because the time is... Um, we just have uh, one hour before the time is run out. Okay, so now describe about the timing. Okay, the description about the timing. So it was a very easy, okay, because I just only make it refresh what we will learn from the topic number two. If you want to give your uh, greetings, the word say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. You have to look at, you have to look in based on the occurring time, right? So here I just repeat again, 1 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. In Malaysia, we consider they are at morning time, pagi. So, everything what happen, uh, apa what happens during the time, so they are pagi. For example, you have uh, many assignment to do, you try to make a revision, you study group until 2 a.m. Okay, 2 a.m. and you are ready to get sleep. So, even they are 2 a.m., you have to mention they are morning, no night. For example, saya tidur, tidur meaning asleep, okay? I'm sleeping at 1 a.m., satu pagi, not satu malam, okay? This is a culture description about the time are in Malaysia. Okay, 12 p.m. to 1.59, they are noon time, tengah hari. 2 p.m. to 6.59, they are evening time. And after then, at 7 p.m., 11.59 p.m., they are night. And we just have our 60 minutes only, they are midnight. So I hope you have to remember about the discretion of the times. Okay? To, uh, please do not make it wrong. Because sometimes, the small mistake, it, you can lose your marks. Okay? Okay, here... Dates, how to write down the dates are in Malay format. I just want to let you know, okay. So, how to write the date is in Bahasa Melayu, in Malay language, we should start with the day first, followed by month and then years. If you write down the date like here, they are wrong, okay, because this is a format for English format, 
Okay, because English format they have a first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. That's why they write down 25th September 1997, or sometimes they start with the month first, September 25th. Uh, 1997. Okay, so in Malay language, you have to know we start with the day first, month, and then years. Okay, how to read the years? How to read the years if they are dates? Okay, if they are number, we should read with 1997, right? If they are numbers, but if they are years, okay, you have a two answer. You can say 1997. The meaning is 1997. But if you want to say 1997, they are still correct. Okay. Uh, all right. Same like 1 April uh, 2020. Okay. Because in English, they have first, second. That's why they put ST first. So in Malay, we don't have like that. You just mentioned 1 April. Tahun 2020 or 2020. Okay. If you want to use the number, totally number, do not write down September. You can say like this one. 18 September 2022. Okay. All right. So I hope you are familiar with how to write down the formats in English. Okay. Now I would like to introduce you how to know about the days and the months in the years. But almost are in Bahasa Melayu. Here. Okay. For those come from the Arabic country, it was a very easy to you because name of the day in a weeks in Malay and Arabic word, they are same. They are uh, similar sims. Okay. For example, in Arabic, they said Monday. Uh, I just want to make sure. Ayub, are you there? Ayub, are you, are you here? No answer. Taha, are you here? Taha? Taha? No answer to. Apa lagi? Uh, Deep. Where are you come from, Deep? Uh, Mauritius. Uh, okay. So, the day in a week uh, in your country and my country, they are different, right? Yes, okay. different. Okay. All right. So, I want to ask you for Farnana Takdo. Are you there, Farnana? Yes, yes. Where are you come from, Farnana? Libya. Libya. Uh, Libya, the name of the day in the week, same like Malay or not? Uh, yes, yes. Because you use, you use Arabic language, right? Yes, I like Okay, so I was thinking this is a very easy to you lah, to memorize the name the day in the weeks, right? Um, yes. Okay, so for the other, for the student, others than Arabic countries, so you, you should to know lah how to memorize about the name, the day in the weeks. Okay, because of uh, uh, one time ago in the previous semester, I'm not sure which one semester, the question asking like this one. Uh, they give you like his name, I mean Monday, and then they give you the fill in the blank, and then they put Rabu, and then blank, and then blank, and then Jumaat. So you need to fill in the blank. Within the name of the uh, after Monday, what is it? Tuesday. So, what Tuesday are in Bahasa Melayu? Like that. Okay. So, you should try to memorize name in a week. Can you memorize the day in the weeks in one minute? It possible or impossible? Can you respond to me? Possible or not? In one possible minute. Possible for some. <laughs> yes, you have to sing a song. So, Salau Saidu Yaru, can you sing a song? How to memorize about the day in the weeks? In, in, in Malay? In Bahasa? Yes, yes in Bahasa. I'm waiting Isin, for you. Okay. Isinen Selas Rabu Kamis Jumat Sabtu Ahad. It's not like a song, just Isinen Selas Rabu. Na 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 na. Can you read again? Can you repeat again your song? Okay, I just want to listen. Listen carefully, guys. Okay. One, two, three. Listening, Salah, Sarabu, Kamis, Jumat, Sabtu, Ahad. 
Okay, I hope you did it. Okay, salam saya di Yeru. Okay, uh, I get I got one idea because of their almost of student come from China, so I want to sing this song in a Chinese rhythm. Okay, I know my voice is not good, but I have to try. So listen carefully, guys. Don't do not move on me eh? <laughs> when you listen my voice. Okay, listen. Try to remember the day in the week in Malay version. Okay, I want to sing. Yeah, ready, 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 everybody. Okay, can you turn on your camera? Give me support. <laughs> okay, so, so everyone, listen. I want to sing a song. This is not easy for me to sing a song. Yeah. Okay, listen. In in China's rhythm. Okay, here. One, two, three. Is Nen Selasa Rabu. Kamis Jumaat Sabtu Ahad tujuh hari seminggu Kang Si Kang Si Kang Si ni ya Kang Si Kang Si Kang Si ni is it okay is it okay no comment <laughs> lah you have to give Great. me support yes okay I repeat Very good. I repeat again, I repeat again. Listen carefully. So after this, you have to sing for me. Okay? One, two, three. Okay. Isnen selasa rabu, kamis jumaat, sabtu, ahad, tujuh hari seminggu. Kong si kong si kong si ni. For sure, you just remember kong si kong si kong si ni only. <laughs> So guys, uh, okay, please do everything. I, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, you can do anything. Try to find the efforts. Okay, to memorize about the names day in a weeks. Okay, yeah. so I just want to read the the name of the day in a week. So listen wow. carefully. Try to catch up about the pronunciation. And after this, this is your turn to sing. Okay, Isnen, Selasa, Rabu, Kamis. Jumaat, Sabtu, Ahad. Ahad. Okay, I hope you got it. Eh? Ah, this is a very important to you. Okay, now let's move. We are talking about the months. I believe everybody in my class right now, you already memorized about the names in the months. Okay, five months in a year. Okay, five months in a year. All right. So what the difference is, at least the, the pronoun is same. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. They are same. Okay. But the difference is about the spelling. If you look at here, okay. If you look at here, the January. The difference is the letter I need to change with the Y for English. Okay. Because English, they put January. The difference is Y. Okay, February is I. Okay, so you have to find out how about March, April, May, June, July, August. August is totally different. September, October, November, December. How to spell the name a month in a year. Okay, uh, just make sure to um, familiar lah about the name of a month. Right now, so let's move to the explanation of the day. Okay, this part is quick a confused sometimes i'm so confused too even i am Malay people okay actually i'm not confused but if you are asking me they're asking me they're asking me and i'm saying oh, i don't know i forget it okay so we have to focus we have to focus look at here all right so actually this is a simple actually but because they have a more question that's why we are confused so look at here part one i'm not sure in the, the culture in your country use uh this word or not, but in Malay, we always use this part to replace by the name of the uh, in the weeks. Today, okay, in English, say today. In Malay, we said hari ini. Hari, I mean, it's day. Okay, hari ini, that means it's today. Hari ini, today. So, moving forward, eso, what is it? Tomorrow, right? So, we call as eso. If today, what what day is today, guys? What day is today? Rabu. Rabu. Very good. Salau Sadiyaro. 
I mean, it's Wednesday, right? So today is Wednesday. All right. So how about tomorrow? Kamis. Yes. Tomorrow is Kamis. Okay. So Lusa still moving forward. Lusa the day after tomorrow. What is it? Jumaat. Jumaat. So today is Rabu. Tomorrow is Kamis. And Lusa is Jumaat. Okay. All right. So now we back forward. Okay. And back forward. Move back. Okay. So we are moved back. Today is Rabu, for example. Today is Rabu. So how about yesterday? I mean semalam. Back. Moving. Move. Selasa. Very good. Okay. Semalam, yesterday. Selasa. Kemarin. The day before yesterday. What is it? Isnin. Before Selasa is Isnin. Okay? Alright. Semalam, kemarin, move back. Alright? Esok, Lusa, straight forward. Okay? I hope you understand about the uh, description of the day. So, I just want to make sure everybody understand. So, let's do the activity. Okay? Hari ini, hari Jumaat, esok hari, please do with your own. Please do. Don't share your answer. I give you, uh, I mean, a three minutes only. Try to answer five of questions. So after that, I will call your name and then you give me the answer. I'm waiting for five minutes only.
Okay, so I hope you are ready with the answer. So can I call uh, Chu Chi Yuan? Chu Chi Yuan, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, what's your answer for number one? Uh, number one is so Hari Sabtu. Yes, Hari ini Hari Jumaat. So tomorrow is Sabtu. Okay. Uh, today Sabtu. is Friday and tomorrow is Saturday. Yes, very good. Perfect. Okay, so Thank number two. Can I ask for uh, separately? Wang Chiu Yi, are you there? Uh, saya. Uh, okay. Number uh, two. Kemarin hari Rabu. Okay, can you give the meaning? Semalam hari Kamis, kemarin hari Rabu. What is it? Uh, yesterday is... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, yesterday is... Uh, okay. Thursday. Uh, yesterday is Thursday. Uh, yesterday is Thursday. Uh, and, and then? Uh, and uh, the day before yesterday is uh, Wednesday. Yes, very good. The day before yesterday is Wednesday. So number two is Wednesday. I mean it's Rabu. Okay. So number three, can I ask for... Sonali, Sonali, can you answer me for number three? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, esok hari Sabtu. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow is Saturday. Uh, Lusa hari um, Saturday. Ahad. Yes. Okay. All right. Tomorrow is Saturday. Lusa is Sunday. Ahad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Number four. Can I ask for Farnana? Share your answer. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, kilma, kilma lead, hari Rabu, Simalam, uh, hari Kamis. Very good. Okay. Day after yesterday, uh, yesterday is Rabu. And yesterday is Kamis. Okay, number five. Yang Boya. Yang Boya, can you uh, share your answer? Yes, of course. Hmm. Lusa Hari uh, Hari Ini Hari Sabtu. Are you sure Hari Ini Hari Sabtu? Lusa. Lusa Ahad. Eso Sabtu. So what day is today? They jump mm. three days. Oh, oh it, it's Friday. Uh, it's yes. Hari ini Hari Jumat. Yes, it's Friday. Because Lusa, day after tomorrow. So tomorrow is uh, Sabtu and today is Friday, Jumat. Okay, very good. Okay. All right, so you got the answer. Okay, thank you everyone. All right, so we're going to finish the slide. We just have a two slides anymore to finish. All right, so here, if you want to mention about every day, what is it day uh, in Bahasa Melayu? What is it day in Bahasa Melayu? Hari. Hari. So you can say setiap hari. Okay, setiap hari I work, I wake up early mornings. That means Every day, saya bangun awal pagi. So, early. Alright, so if you want to mention every week, you need to say setiap minggu. Okay, every week I have a class. LPM 200 class. Setiap minggu. Okay, every year. Every year, we used to say setiap tahun. Setiap tahun, Muslim people celebrate Idol Setiap tahun. Okay. So if you want to say next uh, next year. Okay. You have to say tahun hadapan. Next year. If you want to say last year. You should say tahun lepas. Okay guys. If I want to say next semester. What should I say? Uh, in Bahasa Melayu. What is it? Next semester. Hadapan semester. Hadapan semester or semester hadapan? Semester hadapan. Yes. Semester hadapan. Semester hadapan. 
So, do you want to see me again next semester? Huh? Do you want to see me again next semester? No. Yes, but not for <laughs> this course. Not for this course. Yes, <laughs> okay. You want to see me, but not are in the class, maybe around the school, right? Okay, yes. hopefully, hopefully I can see you lah around the school. Not, not register anymore in this course. Please, you have to help yourself to pass in this course. All right, even they are so tough, but you have to uh, hard working lah, all right? So here, this is a last situation, okay, but the topic number six, okay, I told you uh, to complete your assignment number two, you can choose the situation this the situation from a topic number four, five, and six, all right? For those who already submit, congratulations, okay? For the group you are not uh, discussing yet, not prepared yet, you can choose which one the situation you like it, like this situation. Okay, so this two situation, we are talking about the melee. She wants to attend their class and she meet uh, their friends. Name is Suraya. So here, can I have somebody to be Suraya and melee? I need a volunteers, please. Is it we have somebody to be Suraya and melee? I'll be Suraya. Okay, Amina wants to be Suraya. One more, mm -hmm. melee, who is it? Tonali. Yes. Okay. So Sonali, please be mailing Amina B. Suraya. Okay, go ahead. Read the conversation there. Hi, Mingli. Awak mahu ke mana? Ke, ke mana? Ma, ma, mana? Ke mana? Hi, Suraya. Saya mahu pergi ke kelas awak pula. Saya mahu pergi ke Ke kelas bahasa Malayu. Kelas saya bermula pada bukul. Um, hmm. What number is 12? Yeah, that's the call. Dua belas. Dua belas tinggal hari. Okay. Meling? Mailing, uh, jang, jangan uh, lupa hadir ke kelas. Oh, you are reading my part. You, you skip. <laughs> oh, yeah. begitu. Here. Oh, oh, begitu. Kelas saya bermula pada pukul tiga, uh, tiga tepat petang nanti. Nanti. Mm -hmm. Meling jangan lupa hadir ke kelas gantin bahasa Inggris pada hari Rabu minggu hadapan. Uh, ba baik kalau saya tidak siap tarik tarik na pada uh, Tiga puluh Mei, uh, dua puluh, dua puluh dua, puluh dua, betul. Betul, Mending, kita, kita jumpa di kelas nanti. Baik, jumpa nanti. Okay, very good. Okay. So this, I try to explain, yeah, not by literally, but the whole of the sentence. Okay, Suraya said, thank you, both of you. Okay, Suraya said, hi, Meling, where do you want to go? And Meling said, hi, Suraya, I want to go to the class. How about you? Awak pula, how about you? Saya mahu pergi ke kelas bahasa Melayu. I want to attend Malay class. Okay, so my class, it begins on 12. Uh, PM. Okay, 12 afternoon lah, PM. Oh, begitu. Oh, I see. My class start on 3 PM. Right? So, Suraya said, mailing, don't forget to attend our replacement. Kelas ganti is replacement, yeah? Don't forget to attend our replacement English class on Wednesday next week, minggu hadapan. Okay. 
if I'm not mistaken, the date is 30 May 2022. Am I right? Yes, Mei Ling. So, see you soon in the class. Okay, see you soon. Right? Settle. Okay, so this is the situation when you when you uh, meet some guys and then uh, you can use also this situation to make to complete your assignment number two. All right, so I was thinking congratulations to all of you, you for your participate. Now we finished already about the lesson chapter number six. Okay, so far, any question about the lesson chapter six? Any questions or any comment? No questions. No question, no comment. All right, so. Yeah, yes, question. Yes. Yes, uh, you were talking about uh, 11 June. Is it for test or second test? Second test. Okay. Second test. Okay. 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 Actually, we just have three tests only. The first one already done. Okay. They are, if you remember, uh, in weeks, in weeks uh, seven or six, I'm not, I'm, I'm forget it. They are oral tests. If you remember that. Okay. Number two, this is, it's what happened in 11 June. Okay. The second test. And number three, they are final exam. That's all. Okay. Uh, so the second test is written. Written for what? Not, not oral. Uh, yeah, they are written. Yes, they are written tests. Oh, okay. Mm. So do not open the camera. Do not enter the Zoom meeting or what. I just share the link. You just click the link, and then the link will bring you to answer the question. But you have to remember just forty-five minutes only. Okay. Right, so don't forget after you click button submit, okay, after you click the button submit, please screenshot or snap the picture as a proofing. Because sometimes I didn't find your, apa orang kata, I didn't find your paper. Okay, I check, check, I'm missing your paper. So, and then I give to you. Are you attend the test too? If you said yes, teacher, I answered it all. I already complete the questions. So let, can you give me a, as a proofing? So you, you just share with us the picture. I try to help you, okay? Uh, I try to trace your, your paper. If not, because this is a reason. Sometimes the student, there, there is a not, not, not good attitude. They're not attend and they're, they're defend. I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher. It is so hard for me to find the paper. Sometimes I'm not sleep, everything. I'm so stressed to thinking about your paper and everything. So you have to be prepared. Snap it picture as a proofing. Okay. And you have to remember your class numbers. You have to remember your class number. For Deep, Zhang Zhao, and Salau Saidu Yaru. Okay. Deep, yes. your, your class number is section eight. Same like yeah. Salau Saidu Yaru. Your section is number eight. So you just yes. join you just join section eleven to attend the class. Okay. So okay. in the paper you should write down section eight. Yeah. That's for Dick and Salau Saidu Yaru. For Zhang Zhao, your section class is section twenty. Okay. And for the others, your class number is section eleven. Okay. If you make it wrong, the paper go to another teachers. This is always happen next semester. Okay, I, I I have to asking in the group, the lecturers group, do you find the paper Salau Saidu Yaru, for example, lah. Okay, and they said yes, the paper is for me in the section twenty five. For say, I have three a thirty section, so please try to make it easy for me. I try to make it easy for you. All right. So everybody, uh, today we don't have homework. Because next week, we, next week, we have to do some of the small revision. And I try to get the question from the previous semester. So we, we try to discuss together yeah, about the paper. All right. So please do not miss about the next class. Because I want to share with you which one subtopic you need to focus. All right. So far, if, we, if you don't have any question, maybe not. Not yet. If you still have a, the question after finish this, uh, the class, just drop in the uh, WhatsApp group. If I'm not answering, your friend will link for answering you. Okay? So before that, one again, try to on your camera, everybody. I want to snap a future for your attendance today.
Wang Fei, can you turn on your camera, Wang Fei? Okay, very good. Before that, many thanks to all of you for your, because you give me the high score. I'm very speechless and many thanks to all of you and love to all of you again. All right, so I hope you are uh, good luck on your test and on your study, okay? So look at your camera. <laughs> I'm very appreciated. Okay, so look at the pictures and look at the picture. Look at the camera. One, two, three. Okay, so very good, guys. And we meet you again next week. Assalamualaikum. Jumpa lagi and thank you. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye.